a teacher is walking along and he has a student and they see a fox chasing a rabbit and the student says, well, who's gonna win? And the teacher says, the story goes that the rabbit gets away and the student says, well, how can that be possible? The, the fox is smarter and it's faster. And the teacher says, it's simple. The fox is running for its dinner and the rabbit is running for its life. I think often happens with uh, new technologies. There's a lot of excitement, enthusiasm uh, initially, but then, you know, after a little bit of time, people start to get a little impatient. It was hard, you know, you'd walk out and you'd know that, that inside things are working. Um, we know that we're making very good progress towards the goals, yet you'd read about in the newspapers that, you know, people have given up, that you've, you know, people are walking away, you know, and, and you, you start to question whether you're actually doing the right thing with your time. It was like really the uh, fleeing a ship, and um, that was unexpected for most of us in research, actually. And maybe that was more because it didn't really happen as quickly as the outside world would have loved to see it. And it was the first time where you weren't just adding people every year, that actually, you know, that we had a smaller number of, of people at the company at the end of the year than at the beginning of the year. But then you think about the technology and you think about its potential to help people, um, and that's really what, you know, what drives you to come in every day in those circumstances. Even during those times where we were worrying, you know, is it going to translate into humans? I felt there's enough evidence in our research already that it actually will. Really everyone who's been in the oligonucleotide space knew that delivery was going to be the key fundamental challenge to the technology. We knew that was going to take some time, we knew that was going to take effort. And we just had to find the right delivery strategies for it. That was challenging, That's and that will be continue to challenge us for the rest of the existence of this company. In those years, those so-called uh, difficult, dark uh, years, really were some of the times where we had the, the most progress and the most success internally. And I think that's what a lot of times people in the outside world you know, didn't see. Now is the time we have to show to the world that it is a mechanism which we can make drugs with. <laughs>